Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a blending problem in Python using the pull package. Um, it is a diet problem and I'll link the actual problem below. Um, so basically we have these six different foods, um, oatmeal, chicken, eggs, whole milk, peri or cherry pie, pork and beans. Um, there's all the serving sizes, the amount of energy in each, protein, calcium, and price per serving. Um, so what we're doing is we are minimizing the cost of this diet um, and our decision variables are the amount um, or the servings of each type of food um, and then we also have our constraints which is um, we need to satisfy these nutritional requirements um, for energy protein and calcium um, so of course we want to start off with our sets and our uh, parameters um, and I have that all copied and pasted because I don't want to sit and type that out because that will take forever. Um, but I'm going to go through and explain them. So this one is our foods list. Um, so it's just a string of each type of food. Um, and then our next dictionary is the prices per serving um, of each food. And then the next is the energy and kilocalories per serving of each food. Um, next dictionary protein and grams per serving of each food and then the dictionary of calcium calcium in milligrams per serving of each food um, so then the next thing we want to do is we want to set our problem variable um, and call that prob lp problem sorry this is so far down on the screen um, and we are just going to call this diet problem. And sorry, I got to pull up my notes here. Diet problem. And then we are going to do um, this is a minimization. So then the next thing we want to do is set our decision variable. And our only decision variable is the amount of servings per, uh, for each food. So we're just going to call that food underscore bears equals uh, LP variable. And since we're using the dictionaries and the lists, uh, mainly just because we're do using the list, we're going to say dot D-I-C-T-S. And we're going to call this food, or let's say serving amount. And then comma, and then our list was called foods, comma, and our lower bound is zero to satisfy that non-negativity constraint. And then um, our objective function. Um, so again, we are minimizing the cost. So we're going to say uh, we're going to assign it to that problem variable, the uh, sum of the amount times the price for each food. So we're going to use our prices dictionary and index that with i and then times food underscore bears again index with i because we're still talking about the same list. So we're going to say for i in foods and then um, next we need to do our constraints for our nutritional, nutritional requirements. Um, prob equals LP sum. Um, so we're going to first start with the energy requirement and we're indexing that again with I. It's our only uh, index we need in this case. Times the amount of food or the serving for each food that is chosen greater than or equal to 2,000. And then uh, the next requirement is our protein requirement. LP sum protein I times our food decision variable again for I and foods. And that needs to be greater than or equal to 55. And then finally, uh, LP sum, and we are satisfying our calcium requirement and that is again for I in foods 
and that needs to be greater than or equal to 800. And then uh, the next thing we want to do is um, our prob solve. We want to print the status. And I like to type status colon and then comma lp status bracket prob dot status bracket parentheses. And then we also want to print each variable, of course. So for v in prob dot variable, um, and then we need our open parentheses. We want to print the name of the variable, um, an equal sign, and then the value of that uh, variable. And finally, we want to print our optimal uh, total cost, total cost of, let's see, um, our total cost of our, let's say, total cost of diet and equals value prob dot objective. And let's see what we get. Where's our syntax problem? Let's see. Uh, not sure why that didn't show up. Oh, for I and foods. I guess I had an extra bracket there. What? Huh. I don't think we need any of that. Not sure why I put brackets around those. Let's run that without name food underscore bears is not defined. Uh, line 47. I guess I called that foods instead of food. Showing some debugging, and then here are our answers. So, um, this document says 14.24 servings of oatmeal, which is what we got. Um, 2.71 servings of milk, um, also what we got, and then zero for the rest. And then our optimal cost was six dollars and seventy-one cents, and that's also what we got. Um, and that is how you do a blending problem using Python and how you actually solve it um, after you um, do the uh, set up the whole problem. So I hope that helped you guys and that you can now do some other blending problems using Python.